Hey, hey, Basic MTB. It's upgrade day on our Walmart bike. This is the Hyper Explorer dual suspension bike. And we're gonna be upgrading the pedals and the tires. The tires actually weren't as bad as I expected them to be. A lot of cheap bikes have really cheap tires, but these weren't half bad. Nonetheless, tires do make a really big uh, impact on your ride. So we're gonna put some new tires on the bike. This bike does not have through axles, it just has these two bolts here. And luckily they're the same size as our pedal wrench. So we're simply gonna give that a turn looser, give this side a turn looser. And what we have to do, uh, this is my homemade bike stand again, is um, unscrew this one. You don't have to take the, the nut all the way off, just enough so that this little washer thing with the hook on it can come out of that hole. And the same thing on this side, we're gonna loosen it and I like to hold the wheel up here so it doesn't fall. Uh, we're gonna loosen this nut most of the way out, pull this little washer thing out and then the tire just falls down. I don't have a tire stand, but actually I prefer to do tires on uh, do them horizontally. So I'm using a recycling bin, um, like a flower pot or something else works fine too. You just want to make sure that your brake rotor isn't uh, on the ground or on a surface. It keeps clean, you don't want to bend it. Um, so we're going to grab this guy here. This is to remove the valve core. This bike does have tubes and it has a straighter valve. So you need the tool that has this little nub right here to go into the valve. The air is gonna come out and do it slowly so the valve core doesn't go shooting off and, and you lose it. That right there. I'm just gonna put this on my little homemade table. And then the tire just pulls right off. Be a little sticky the first time. There it goes. Work your way around. And remember, there is a tube, so you might want to pull that valve core through um, so you don't break it. All right, you've got the tire off. I'm going to grab the tube out from inside. And I'm just gonna lay that on top for right now. And this is our new tire. So what we're gonna do, take wherever the other stem was, find the hole for that, and just feed that through for now. There we go. And then I'm gonna lay the rest of the tube just on top of the, uh, on top of the rim for now. Take your new tire. A lot of people like to make sure the, um, the logo is in the same location as the valve stem, so I'm gonna follow that standard and work your way around putting the, uh, I guess the lower lip of the tire into the rim. And we're not worrying right now about the, the tube. We'll put this in after we have the first bit of the tire seated. See, it went a little too far and it came all the way off. Let's try that again. Put one edge in. Work your way around. And that should almost be... There we go. All right, so now it's on there. It's um, pretty sturdy. It's not going to fall off. So now I'm just going to shove the tube into the tire. Like so. All right, run your hand around it. Make sure it's not twisted anywhere. All right, that looks pretty good. Little twist right there. Yeah, see right here 
how the um, the tube is twisted, you don't want that. Make sure it's flat all the way around. All right, then we're gonna go around once more and put the outer uh, tire bead into the rim. So I usually hold it in one spot and then I just use my thumb and push it in the rest of the way. Switch hands. It's pretty easy until you get to the very last bit and then it might fight you a little bit, but that one went in nicely. All right, if you need to center, uh-oh, I'm falling off. Flip it over, put the bead back into place. There we go. Center up your logo to your uh, valve thumb if you want to. We're gonna grab our valve core tool and the valve core itself. Um, it goes in with the, the little plunger piece on the outside. That goes in there. And don't crank these down because you can break them. Just kind of finger tight and snug. Okay. If you have a hand pump, um, that'll work just fine. You don't have to worry about seating the bead like on tubeless tires. You can just pump it up as it is and that will be fine. Um, I have this electric inflator. I, I do a lot of car stuff, so having this is uh, really helpful. Six, that's probably about fine. All right, and that's all there is to it, to um, replacing a tube tire. It's pretty easy. Don't forget to put your cap back on. And we're gonna put the tire back on the same way it came off. Make sure that the rotor is on the same side as the caliper. So you can see the caliper is right here. So the rotor is gonna be on the uh, right side too. Put the rotor in the caliper first. And then you wanna make sure these little washer guys with the, um, the hooks are on the outside of the forks. So that goes up. Unless you, of course you, uh, oh no, there we go. Okay, so these little hooks here go into the hole on the fork and then give it a few turns and now it'll stay put. Um, do the other side now, same deal. Again, I'm holding the top right here, the rim and the top of the fork, just to uh, make it easier to, to manipulate the little washers. Give it a few turns and the tire is in place. I'm gonna grab my pedal wrench. You can use a socket or regular wrench too. That'll work just fine. Um, I'm gonna squeeze this pretty hard so the wheel is um, as far up into the, the, I guess the axle hole as it'll go. And I'm gonna tighten it down nice and tight. All right. Other side. All right. Cool. Um, I also put these little grips on the um, on the brakes. Not necessary. I actually I got used to riding with grips over the winter. Uh, I used to use these big mitteny gloves, and the uh, the brake levers were just really slippery because they weren't riding gloves. They were just big mittens. And I put these rubber or silicone grips and it helped. And then I just got used to using them. So I grabbed an old pair for this bike as well. Um, definitely not necessary. Just kind of a cool uh, 
I don't know. I like them. Pedals. So I already did the left side. Just remember that the left pedal is reverse thread. So that means you're going to turn the pedal to the right to loosen and the left to tighten for the left side pedal. On the right side, it's uh, regular lefty loosey, righty tighty. When you're doing pedals, uh, be really careful to not smash your knuckles on the chain ring. I've done that, it's not fun. Uh, a safe way to do it is put your wrench um, such that your hand is uh, going downward. So the pedal is kind of out to the side, the wrench is here, and now if I, basically if it lets go, my hand is just gonna go down versus if it was up here, when it, when it lets go, when it loosens, I'm gonna hit my knuckles on the chain and, and this uh, gear here, and that's, that hurts. So have your pedal a little bit low, like that. This is now loose, I can take it off. Um, these pedals do not have an Allen key on the inside, so you have to use a wrench for it. However, the new pedals do have uh, an Allen key on the on the back side. So let's get the new pedal. And I'd recommend putting just a slight dab of grease on the threads. Um, that'll help it not uh, get seized up if you ever want to take these off again. Not a lot, just a little bit. That's fine. And I'm using the um, just the regular Park Tool grease. Um, you can use this on, I, I think, anything on your bike. It's, it's pretty useful stuff to have. Um, because this one has the Allen key, which I think is a six mil. Nope, eight. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna use my brand new Park Tool Allen keys. If you haven't seen that review, uh, check it out. It's short, it's good. Um, it's a, <laughs> I gave a little bit of a rant about their packaging, but the tools themselves so far have been really nice. Um, I did also mention in that review that I didn't like the, uh, the tool holder, but I'm gonna give it a fair try and see if I, um, if I like it. So, come on. If I can get it to start. There we go. I like that these have the, the ball end on them so it'll work at a whole bunch of different angles. You don't have to be perfectly straight on. It's uh, very handy. So like I said before, um, when you're putting some force on these, make sure the direction of the force is away from anything that might hurt your hand. So I'm gonna tighten these up a little bit. All right. That should be good. Um, I already did the back tire, but it's the same thing as the front. You're just gonna take off this bolt and this bolt. Um, I'd recommend shifting it to the highest gear so the chain and the derailleur are as far uh, to the right as possible. That'll make it easier for the wheel to come out. Um, but other than that, it's the exact same thing as the, as the front tire. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do another ride on this one. Check it out, see how it feels with the uh, the new pedals, the new tires, and I'm probably gonna put some protection tape on the down tube, top tube, and definitely on the chain stay. There is a bit of chain slap, so I wanna make sure that this doesn't get too torn up. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and have a great day.